This is the wild coast of South Africa, from the gentle beaches in the south, right up to the rugged cliffs of the north. This raw and primal coastline is dotted with lagoons, wrecks, and is home to the Kosa people of South Africa. And nestled on this coastline is the Seagulls Beach Hotel, just a hop, skip, and a ferry away from the Kai River mouth. But for the five remaining teams that are competing in the world's toughest outdoor kitchen for over a million rands worth of prizes, including a Suzuki Grand Vitara, well, it might as well be hell. Oh, Start again. I'm very stressed. Be careful. Colin! Stuck. No, leave it on there. Holy f Ah! 30 seconds. This is un real. The previous leg saw six teams go head to head. Well, we have to figure out what a paella is. It's apparently a rice dish in a pan. The most testing challenge yet. I'm trying my hardest to stay in the game. And we've got to move our f right now. And Nick accidentally just knocked over the bread. Ah, oh, it's just gut wrenching. He hell. It was tight. But both the Outlaws and Team Empire took a dive. This, unfortunately, is terrible. Earning themselves a place in the elimination challenge. It's never nice going into these eliminations. This is the third time that we're in elimination. You're about to get slammed with a whole bunch of quick fires and you better run. I can't even feel my feet. Going for break here. To the Empire. Now from the raw ginger. The fifth team to be eliminated from the game, Empire. It's been an awesome journey that we've been on. I do feel proud that we made it to the top six. And the question is, now that each team is fighting for their own place in the game and Pretty Gritty holds the golden tongs, could the game be turned on its head? Game on. Drizzling a bit this morning. Pack up this mess, clean it up, and set up on the other side. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? No, Nick, you really did this half ass now, hey? Do you know your job properly? Myself and Nick work in departments. There's certain things that I do and certain things that he does. When you have one person doing the majority of the work, me, Where did I put my phone? Where did my phone go? Chanel's decided she does nothing. You going to pay call? Seagulls Hotel and Resort. Yeah, so we received good news this morning that we're not camping. Oh yeah. This is the last chance we can use the golden tongs on ourselves if we should go into the elimination round. The soul wants to use his golden toe against salty flames. Yesterday, <laughs> he said he really doesn't want salty flames to win that challenge. And guess what? They won it. So he's going to be hoping that they aren't an elimination and he can shove them in there, you know? Almost 100% guaranteed. If we are not the top team next round, we're going into elimination. We have no option other no. than winning. We have got to take the number one spot. It's Fisa and myself, and we need to also pick up our game a little. Just landing up second, third the whole time, it's just not going to cut it anymore, and we really need to give it a little bit more. No! <laughs> and so on. First, let's stop with everything. I want to go to the room. <laughs> Ching chong cha. <laughs> One. Oof, beautiful. Double bed for pretty gritty. 
very, very happy we're not camping. Hey, can you see? Our beach is right there. This is awesome, man. Eh? I'm gonna miss camping, but there is there is a fireplace, so we can make a fire. And Nick and Chanel, they've been whisked away to the upgraded. The upgrade. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so we just arrived at the Seagull Resort here in the Trial Sky. Yeah, I'm super relaxed. Um, don't know if we have any challenges today, but we are going to soak this up. The trip's just getting better. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah. Good afternoon teams, I'd like to officially welcome you to the Seagulls Beach Hotel on the east coast of South Africa and we are still in my favorite part of the world. The question that's sitting on my mind, obviously you're all relaxed, you know right now that there's no challenge, but how does it feel to be in the top five? Talon, didn't expect us to make it this far, but I can picture us winning. Now if you had to win the title, the car and the cash, what are you going to do with it? At the beginning, I was saying I would spend it all. <laughs> but one of the things I'm going to do is donate money to my dad's soup kitchen, and then I'm going to invest the money in this business plan that I have. Boto and Batis. Batis, you've retired already, so I hope that your son-in-law is just going to benefit from it and your daughter. Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> now, Boto and I have a deal that if we win, I'll acquire the car. That should see me through, actually. <laughs> if we get to our next objective of the final three, I think then we'll really start planning where we're taking this. Nick and Chanel, dreams and aspirations? Much like Tyler wants to help his fellow man, I want to help man's best friend. I want to start a dog rescue center. And in conjunction with that, I want to start a, a camping grounds, a dive center, and also a race cattle. Quite broad strokes there, guy. Quite a diverse sort of range of people I have sitting here in my top five. Peter and Desiree, I know you've got three kids sitting at home right now. Obviously there's vouchers from Game To Be One, which buys us all new camping gear, take them on the trip and show them how South Africa actually looks like. And then there's Brian and Sophie, so Ebony and Ivory. Gents, you must have a little inkling of what you do if, if you win the cash. I'll pay the baller for my fiance. <laughs> <laughs> then I will use the cash to start a family. I already have two kids. I only need to get married. Focus on my court business. Ten. Do this. Enjoy South Africa. It's very beautiful. It was my first time seeing most of the places. I really enjoyed them. So. I would like to share the experience with my kids and my fiance. My wife is at home with my daughter, so I promised I'd definitely take her on a holiday after this. You know, it's not easy raising a child by yourself. The rest of the money, invest in a restaurant. The number one priority is definitely taking her on a holiday. Uh oh, by the way, I was not proposing on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gents, on that high note, tomorrow I've organised that you're all going to go for a horse ride with Wild Coast Horseback Adventures. Enjoy it. You're going to ride on the beach. It's really something I think that everyone should do in their lifetime. And then you're going to join me for lunch at the Bush Pig. So have a really nice day. Enjoy tonight. And then tomorrow, lunch is on me. <laughs> Welcome to Wild Coast Horseback Adventures. I have my girls here who will be looking after you this morning. So you're in very safe hands, they're all very experienced riders. Anybody who's very nervous, don't be. This is my beautiful horse, Tibalt. He's <laughs> releasing some loss. <laughs> we are leisurely strolling towards the beach on the horsebacks. Chanel, are you enjoying yourself? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. We opted out of going horse riding today. It's not like in our nature to <laughs> deal with wild animals. Uh, what do you mean, butchers? <laughs> yeah, dead, dead animals is fine, but... <laughs> 
Ah, well, that has been beautiful. Uh, again, we ate Bonnie and I got, which means our, our world is always black and white. <laughs> it's been an awesome day out so far. Built up quite an appetite. Yeah. I'm as hungry as a horse. <laughs> is it lunch or is it a challenge coming up? That is the question. <laughs> You know, the scenery was beautiful, just riding in the forest, really amazing. Really enjoyed it uh, with my boy here, Astro Boy. Well done, everyone. I hope you enjoyed your ride on the Wild Coast with Wild Coast Horse Trails. We've loved having you, and I hope you enjoy your lunch now here at the Bush Pig. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, teams. Good afternoon. I know I promised you all lunch at the Bush Pig event spa, but the truth is today you are coming to make lunch. Each team will have to prepare food for 20 guests. Each team will have two hours of prep time and a half an hour of service. And in that two hours, we expect you to put together some pub grub. Five items on a platter to be served to guests at five minute intervals in the allotted service time. One of them must have cheese as the hero. We're in the coolest spot <laughs> that you would ever imagine to stumble upon in this neck of the woods. So draw from your surroundings. You're going to have a rawdy crowd coming here who are expecting a nice feed. So let that design your plans. We're not looking at finicky canapes. We want substantial, tasty, hearty pub finger food. So think of what would you want to have when you're in a place like this. And as Pete said, there's a lot of inspiration to draw from this. We just want adequate food for our guests, tasty food, but also ideas that would suggest that you are in the top five. There is a beautifully stocked game pantry behind me with beautiful fresh ingredients, fresh vegetables, right the way down from a selection of everything from chicken livers, pork loins, ribs, whole shoulders. You get the idea. Please use the pantry wisely, use it well, show your skill, stay in the game because the two worst teams in this challenge will go into a head-to-head -head elimination challenge tomorrow and one team will be going home. Pretty gritty. Lose the challenge, you've got the golden tongs in your hand. Win the challenge, you're gonna have to use your golden tongs. Big decision coming your way today. You ready for your challenge? Yes. Great, your two hour starts right now. Okay. Right now, I am going some riblets. I'm trying to do everything that is going to be edible by hand. Something that I would like to order in a pub. Sorry, sorry guys, sorry. We're we'll winning, we're gonna win. We're gonna do what we have to do. And let's go start prepping, please. Crazy, crazy, crazy challenge. It's better to over prep for this than make the mistake of not having enough food. Pub grub, pub grub. Pub grub, we know from going to the pub and watch the rugby or some racing. Tolly and I have been to enough bars to understand what's required. You don't want to eat something and not want to lick your fingers afterwards. You can't go overboard because you have to be ready in two hours. Yeah, our goal is to win this challenge so that we don't have to suffer the fate of going to the elimination. This is a cool challenge, I like it. I'm, I'm not scared. It's going to be difficult, but we will manage. Outlaws. What's happening, guys? We're going to do drumsticks, then we're going to do the riblets, the mushrooms. The intention there is just slow eat and a bit of cheese on top. What sort of cheese are you thinking about? I've taken cheddar. It's, you know, it's not a great bry cheese. Yeah. You know, maybe something that holds its shape a bit more. What are you doing with the potatoes? Because we want to do potato skins and we also want to do some onion rings. Then we want to do some flatbreads with cheese inside. Consider your cooking space with all of these ideas that you have. Yeah. Well, we've got lots of work to do. I think if we move, we can finish it in time. All right, ebony and ivory. Yeah. What do you guys got on the go? I've got some uh, baboti meatballs, which we're going to do. Drumsticks with like a nice honey and mustard. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're going to do some jalapeno poppers. Who taught you to do that? Edward Scissorhands. You know, no, really I... butchered it. Yeah. 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 And then the last one, we also want to kind of keep a vegetarian option there. The mushrooms, and then we're going to stuff them with maybe some caramelized onions and then some nice crispy potato shavings on top of it. Okay, nice idea. Okay, good luck, guys. 
So the jalapeno poppers are on the go with our um, cheese, with some mixed herbs inside, so it's not just your plain jalapeno poppers. But flour, egg, and breadcrumbs. And the flour, we've just got some garlic and herb spice and some salt. Always season your things. It's a big thing that judges also look at. Okay, pretty gritty. Hi, I'm busy with a sweet and sour sauce that's going to go with our chicken. Yeah. And then I'm making a mustard and cream cheese sauce to go with our crunchy pork. Then we've got some sirloin steaks going, brown mushroom stuffed with cheese, mm -hmm. and the roast is going to go with a bit of tartar sauce. Nice and organized, I like to see that. Yeah. Teams, you've already used half an hour of your prep time. You now only have one and a half hours left. At the two hour mark, you will be serving guests. Looks like you all have a hell of a lot of work to still do. If that, I'm going to win this thing. <laughs> Mountain hits. What's up? Go peri peri chicken livers on a skewer with some bacon. I'm going to do a little fillet meat stack. We want to squeeze in some uh, potato skins. Mm -hmm. And we're doing jalapeno poppers stuffed with cream cheese. Okay. Yeah. Can you manage with this while I start prepping other things? Yes, yes. Well, what's happening, Nick? Onion and garlic on the fryer, getting them ready for our fricadellas. Some barbecue riblets, chicken wings. Really beautifully seasoned bit of fillet over here. Just chunks of meat. We're also going to do chili poppers. We're going to cut it open and we're going to do two to three different cheeses inside of it. How would you eat that? Well, I'm just still thinking whether that's going to leak out. Who doesn't like a chili popper? OK, good luck. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I'll tell you next time I come through. Gentlemen, we're an hour into the challenge. The first of the guests have started arriving already, and I think a lot of the teams didn't consider the amount of space that they had in order to cook five different dishes to go out on a platter in two hours. I'm getting a bit worried. They've got all stuff that takes a long time to cook. Think of the numbers. So that changes you know, your choice of ingredients. The outdoors are the only team that have got two vegetable dishes. This is going to be a night. It's going to need more than Golden Thomas. It's going to need a Golden Spade to get out of this one. There's a lot on the line here, yeah? so we want to come first so that we don't have to worry about going to elimination at all. First chicken, going on. And don't you dare burn anything, dude. You've all taken proteins, 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 and now you only have an hour left to cook everything on limited space. That's very little time. Getting our blood pumping. We definitely not like going into another elimination challenge. No, I'm not worried about time. Time must worry about me. We have a lot to cook. Uh, me and Umberto are really pushing. Putting the roast beef in the cussy here. Baby, that looks burnt to me. That looks very burnt to me. Listen, could you please just stop saying that? I've been told not to say they're burnt. They're not burnt. It is incinerated. Get cracking. 13 minutes left. This is un real. Nella, Nella. There's still blood on the bone. How much? Another like five five minutes or so, babe. Ah, my hand. Rice and fingers. It's all worth it. Not called the ultimate bar master for nothing. All five of the elements have to be ending this. No problem. It's getting a bit frantic now. Pretty gritty. Don't lose focus. Do you want to taste this? Taste this and let me know what you think. Don't lick the thing, babe. Eat it. That's raw. Um, good. Plating. Three minutes left and only one team, the one behind me, Ebony and Ivory, looks like they're going to be ready. Get it done in the next three minutes. Andy. Okay, cut, cut, cut. Okay, how many do we have of these uh, poppers? I can't count right now. Take, 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 take. 30 seconds. What? First, play, play, play. That's not pretty, babe. Do it, do it, do it. Vamonos, vamonos, arriba. Venga, venga. Livers in a bucky, young cunt, mid slide break. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Get stuff out to our guests right now. Let's go. Afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so we've got some honey mustard, drumsticks, babuti meatballs. All right, gents, we have some sticky chicken wings, crispy pork rashers. Skewered with some bacon. A bit spicy, but Ooh. not too nah, nice. I like spicy. Yeah. I hope you enjoy it. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Wow. What's this? Barbecue style sticky ribs. Frickadels. Cool, thanks, Nick. Thank you, Nick. Thank you very much, gentlemen. I hope you enjoy it. Cool. 
the, the frikadelle for me is just dry. It's too tight yeah. and it's just tasteless. And this was just the stupidest idea I've ever seen. How on earth are you supposed to eat that? That is an epic fail as a chili popper. Two things I enjoyed was the ribs and the steak. The, the chaos that we saw during the cooking is evident on the plate. Caramelized onion. Very nice. Pretty gritty. Okay. Chicken, brown mushroom stuffed with cheese, crunchy pork strips. The only thing I like on these are the three dips. Yep. These guys are lucky they've got golden tongs today. Afternoon, judges. How's it? How's hey. it? Meat, meat, and more meat. Okay. The peppers worked. It's a clever idea. I'd happily munch that with a couple of ice cold beers. Huh? This also looks like pub yeah. food. Really are professional, these guys, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I think I've gone to heaven. How's it, guys? Hey, hey. Uh -huh. Boboiti meatballs. And we've got some nice honey and mustard drumsticks. Beef fillet kebabs with a peppercorn mayonnaise. Some jalapeno poppers. Grilled mushrooms with onion jam and potato skins. <sighs> Pete, I have a problem. Everything on this platter is on point. The bush cooks are coming to the party, yeah? Very good, huh? Yeah. The food is better than sex. I wonder if we can hire one of these guys to come and cook for us always. Yes. We're running out of space. <laughs> we had such a delicious meal. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey. How's it, how's it? Very good yourself. Cool. Lekker. Okay. <laughs> For me, that is dull and boring. This flatbread is the high point of the exactly. whole thing. Yeah. So I don't think it's we going into the elimination challenge with the food we produced, but even if we had the golden tongs. I'm happy this is the last challenge where I need to hear about those damn golden tongs. This is the end of it now, thank goodness. Mm. We actually came in to want to win this challenge. Yeah. That's all five platters tasted? Yeah. So now we need to sit and think over an ice cold beer of yeah. what we think you know, the bottom two teams were. Good evening, my final five teams. After a nice day spent at a pub where you weren't relaxing and enjoying yourselves, where you were cooking to stay in the game. I'm sure you'd all like to know who is safe in the game, or should I say, who is maybe safe in the game, and who is not. All right, best dish of the day. Finally, ebony and ivory. <laughs> Gents, you've been playing second fiddle, third fiddle for so long, and you've been wondering when it was going to be your time. Today you smashed it. Also means you get upgrades, gents, but you'll have to wait until tomorrow. Well done, gentlemen. For well, Ebony and Ivory, I think it's your time to shine now. We've always had that belief that you guys have it in you. And with this challenge, you actually aced it. Not only being the one that finished first, but all of your dishes were on point. So big ups to you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Second best dish of the day, mutton heads. Yay! Are you being serious? <laughs> yeah, believe it or not. Yeah. Which brings me to the bottom three teams. Outlaws, you produced the worst food of the day. You're the first team in the elimination challenge. Which leaves me with two teams. Salty flames, pretty gritty. Pretty gritty. Let's just say you should be happy that you're holding the golden tongs in your hand because you are the second worst team of the day and are in the elimination challenge. Okay, which is where it gets interesting now because you get to make some decisions. You can take the outlaws out of the elimination challenge and make them safe and put someone else in to go head to head against yourselves. You can take yourselves out and you can put Tertia and Tarlin into the elimination challenge or the salty flames. Of course, Ebony and Ivory, they're untouchable today. So, Peter and Desiree, what do you want to do? Okay, I'm happy with that. Okay. You ready to make a decision, Peter? 
Yes. First of all, we take ourselves out. <laughs> Obviously. We have both decided salty flames. No surprise. No <laughs> surprise. Right, that does mean outlaws, salty flames. Tomorrow you're going to be going head to head to stay in the game. Up for it, gentlemen? Yes. We have to be. Nick and Chanel, think you can take them on? Well, we've got youth on our side. <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck, outlaws. Good luck, salty flames. The rest of you, tomorrow you get to go for a nice walk down the coast. There's a beautiful wreck called the Jacaranda. Take a stroll, take fishing rods, relax and enjoy yourselves. But of course, for the two teams, Salty Flames and Outlaws, you know, next time you see me... Game on. <laughs> we made it to the top four. It's starting to kick in. Relax before a challenge. And, you know, 10 to 1, you're going to come out top. We've been trying our asses off and it's paying off and there's a glimpse of... Like... We can make it to the top three. We came up on top. That was the biggest relief of everything because knowing those golden tongs were there. Luckily for this, we are still in the game. We don't have to go to an elimination challenge. Zero no surprises. surprises. Definitely not despondent. I think we'll be going into this challenge with new life. We're coming back with a vengeance to win. We, we're out for everyone. We're going to fight it right to the end. Just chilling for the day. We're off to Jacaranda shipwreck. And Sassy Chris is explaining to us about Nothing. how to protect nature. And it's, it's quite interesting, actually. Oh, yeah, look at that. In the way. <laughs> Dolphins having a surf contest. <laughs> just enjoying this beautiful day. Walking there, we're going to go fishing just now. <laughs> just today. We made it to the top four and we had a little bit of a celebration. We had a few drops last night and I think they're haunting me now. <laughs> Everybody has one now that's in the top five, including Sviso and myself. No, they were just lucky. They're not good cooks. Yeah, Sviso and myself are really on cloud nine at the moment. If Brian and Sviso wouldn't have been topped, I would have put them in the elimination. We're very relieved that we're not in the elimination challenge. The salty flames and the outlaws are busy duking it out head to head. Voter and uh, Baptist look quite stressed, so at the end of the day, they've got to earn their place around the fire. We are rooting for the outlaws! Outlaws, salty flames, well, the teams that are safe are swanning their way down to the Jacaranda, enjoying the wild coast of South Africa. Both of you are fighting for your place in the game. Want to know what you've got to do to stay in the game? Quite a simple challenge today. It's called low and slow. In eight hours, <laughs> you have to smoke and cook a brisket. It's one of the toughest cuts of meat to cook perfectly. And today your challenge is to serve a delicious one to the judges along with five sides that you would traditionally get with a smoked brisket. Smiling, Nick. I've always watched this sort of stuff on TV. Ah. I've always wanted to cook a brisket now of the child. Gentlemen, cooked a brisket before? No. Well, good luck then. One of the toughest cuts of meat to cook. The cooking method is hugely important. Brisket is an incredibly tough cut, has huge amounts of collagen in it. So you need to break that down. And the only way to properly break that down is slowly. So you're looking at about a six hour cooking time. But, and here is where it gets difficult, is you have to maintain a temperature of between 110 and 120 degrees. You want an internal temperature of 80 degrees. But if you get that too quickly, what it means is it's you're not breaking down the collagen, your meat's gonna shrink and it's gonna be dry and it's gonna be tough. You know, even if you don't have teeth, you're supposed to be able to chew this one. So that is key. But at the end, we also want five sides, whether it's a relish salad or a pickle or whatever starch, but you will decide on that and you have plenty time. Happy with the challenge? Happy. Ready for it? Yes. Well, here's the rub. <laughs> you will have an hour to work together and then Brian Masters, you're going to drive to East London 
and select the ingredients that you are looking for for those sides. All your fresh ingredients will come from your biggest pantry yet, the game store in East London, and it'll be up to the bry buddies to make sure that they maintain that perfect temperature while their bry masters are getting the ingredients for the sides. One last rule, the briskets obviously get cooked in the Kamado Yun. It's the only device that you can use to cook the brisket. The team that cooks the best brisket today walks away with the Kamado Yun worth 25,000 Rand. So if you lose, you go home. If you win, you get one of them. Yeah, boy. Right, ready for your challenge? Ready. Great, your eight hours starts right now. Get that rub. Okay, tell me what you want. I know American style stuff is normally got a little bit of spice to it. Spicy sushi yama is the perfect style. We're going rustic. Obviously a bit of aniseed and clove flavors and then a dash of nutmeg in that as well. But predominantly cumin. Obviously the dry rub is crucial part of this because once it's on you can't touch it. Interesting challenge because the result can be a very close result. The sugar's going on. How much sugar did you put on there, darling? Yeah, plenty. No, listen, listen, listen. Just leave it, it's amazing. Nick, it's too yeah, much. It's not too much. The outlaws, salty flames. That's it. You guys can head off to East London. Good luck, guys. Cheers, man. Someone please advise this man when he makes silly decisions. You guys see the whale? <laughs> That is amazing! <laughs> wow, what a day. So guys, this is what's left of the Jacaranda, the ship that ran aground here on the wild coast. The majority of the ship was around until just a couple of years ago. So there we go, I think now we're set, we'll find a nice beach where we can sit, relax, do a bit of fishing, play a bit of cricket. <laughs> uh, the challenge, I think it's going to be a difficult one. Maybe it's a smoker brisket for eight hours. But you know, Justin could come. Okay guys, we want three breads. Yeah. Fifteen minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm struggling with my Kamado Yun a little bit here. I don't understand. Closed both top and bottom vents, and I've reduced the amount of coal. I'm just glad Chanel's not here because she'd be. Didn't do this. Pour water on it. Call the fire brigade. I don't understand. It's doing the opposite of what I wanted to do. I've only got 20 minutes to sort this shit out. I'd rather stay a bit lower on the temperatures and you. I always increase it, but once it's too hot, you, you're screwed. I'm very comfortable with it. Roberto is the right man for the job in terms of managing the temperatures. I think our challenge is, uh, won't be the meat, it's going to be the condiments. I think that we have five dishes. You know, with a bit of a South African twist. Meligera, pot brood, coleslaw. We're going to stick to the traditional American sides. It's, it's a very fair playing field. If everybody's brisket is on par, then it's up to the sides. So we need to make sure that our sides are on it. Um, I'm putting the meat on, trying just to avoid direct heat onto the meat. Nick, one hour's gone, seven to go, I presume that that baby's going into the Komodo yeah? That's right. You'll see the temperatures drop quite a bit now, but it'll rise very quickly. <laughs> Chanel's gonna watch this on TV. Why didn't you tell me? Um, what's your temperature? Perfect, 120. Hello. Hello, darling. Have you got the temperature perfect? 100 to 110. Yeah, we're, we're still playing with the temperature a little bit. It's fluctuating up and down, but don't you worry about it. We got it under control. It's not going past 120, is it? No, no, it's not going past 120. You promise? How's Baptist's thing going? Is he also struggling? No, no, he's, he's miraculously sitting at exactly 110. Okay, you need to miraculously get that ready. Yeah, don't worry, it's under control. Okay, crack on, I'll see you soon. Oh, uh, okay. There's no point in her stressing even more, so... Sorry, babe. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good news is both your teammates have hit East London. They filled up and they're now doing the shop. Let's hope that you've given them good advice in terms of the sides that you should be making. But they should be back in the next hour and a half. And then the balance of the elimination challenge will start in earnest for you both. Got it. Basically just going through the fresh greens that we've got here. So it's obviously peppers that we're going to do with the pickle. Red onions we need as well. I mean, there's ample fresh greens around. So I think we've got a good choice of variety. 
Okay, change of plans. I'm gonna take away from so many salads and I'm going to be making a vegetable bake. We're gonna do a cucumber and red onion salad. We're going to do a cornbread. We're gonna do a corn on the cob. We're gonna do a veg bake. And that's four. What was Nick's fifth one? An avo salad. I like the avo salad, but we're gonna do the vegetable bake. We got this. No, I'm quite happy that we got everything in need. Hi. How are you? No, very good in you. Thanks. Thanks. Enjoy your day. Finished. So no, this is a joke. We gotta cook for two people and she folded the trolley. It's a bargain. We've got about six or seven bags here and they're pretty packed. So uh, that's the cheapest shop I've done recently. Thanks ladies, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. We are about two to three minutes out and I'm gonna hit the ground running when I get there. Things need to get done. We need to stay in the game. Today isn't actually for me about winning the Komodo, it's just a huge cherry on top. Today is unfortunately about knocking out one of my newfound friends over there. I love you a lot. I didn't hear what you say, but likewise. Yeah. That's us, Nick. I'd like you to welcome back your Bry Masters. Hope they've got everything you need because your time is running out. Please produce the five sides. Make sure the brisket is cooked, rested, and served to the judges. Okay, first things first. It says cornbread. Corn cake, my mate. Yeah. Looks beautiful. So voted. You're happy with what you bought? Well, we're going to do, first of all, the roasted veg a bit. And then we'll do a classic pickle veg with that. We're going to do a milli gerag. Okay, nice, yeah. A pot bread, a classical salad, and coleslaw with some homemade mayo. All Sounds right. like some solid barbecue fare. Yeah. Nice, yeah. I like it. So, Chanel. So we're going to do a vegetable bake. Yes. We're also going to do a cornbread. We're going to do an avocado spicy salad, and a cucumber, yeah. and red onion salad, and a corn on the cob. Not much time left, huh? Two and a half hours, now it's time to start moving, huh? Yes, Got judges. Right, corn cake, huh? A bit more, it's about 19. Oh, I said spot on, I would take yeah. it off. Oh, okay. Have it. you checked that? It's now been in for 5 hours and 25 minutes. The temperature is still sitting pretty. Quickly getting the dough sorted. It's got to rise off a bit. We think it will be done just in time. If it's going to be enough, we'll have to wait and see. Nick and Chanel is going to make it very complicated. I mean, she bought a trolley load of stuff. Maybe her flavours are going to be too much. Still the dish, still the meat in the end of the day. No, 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 no. I need you to mix that, please. Okay, that's mixed. Okay, why don't you do systematically, babe? It's going in a salad. Okay, so what does it matter? You're going to be making mayo. That's good. How do you make mayonnaise? Making a mayonnaise now. The one that Baddy did with the side didn't go that well. So we'll do a rerun. 77, 82, so it's roughly 80 degrees. Gentlemen, the teams have been cooking briskets for over the last six hours. And they're making their sides right now. How's it looking? I think this challenge is actually going to be down to the sides because both the Bry Buddies have actually done a fantastic job. Both briskets are off. I'm glad that they were able to get the meat right. Once everything is starting to come together, that's when we'll start seeing whether there are any cracks. At the moment, very difficult to say, and it looks like it's going to be close. Well, let's see what happens. Oops. Like, this is like a time sensitive thing. That's the coleslaw done. This is my pickled vegetables. They're done. Outlaw, salty flames, you are down to your last 15 minutes. Please make sure that you serve the brisket whole to the judges along with your five sides. 15 minutes to go. Thank you. Plating up my pickles. Please dish the potato salad. Nice. That's a good one. Oh, they're fun. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah. Man. <coughs> That's a problem. Nope, not gonna serve it. Outlaws, salty flames, you've got your last 10 seconds. That's five, four, three, two, and one. Doesn't that look fun, eh? Hi, judges. Hey. hey. This looks good. So we've got an avocado salad, we've got a potato salad, a vegetable bake, and then we have the cornbread. Well, we're going to give it a little slice and see what it looks like inside. Mm. Thank you, judges. Thank you very much. I think you always run the risk with brisket of it being dry. I've got to say, I quite like that. The sides, this bake, it just needs seasoning. I like the fresh pickle. That's a great potato salad. With the vegetable bake, I find it also with the granola on top. It's a bit chewy. You know what I mean? It just needs seasoning. We don't want to go home. 
we just don't want to go home. So we really hope we did enough. OK, guys, run us through what you've made. This is a pickle in white wine vinegar and white wine. This is a Mediterranean-type roasted vegetables. This is our uh, coleslaw. And this is Voters Militar. And just a plain little fresh salad. OK, let's have a cut. Ooh. Right, well, we're going to have a taste and we'll let you guys know. And I think it went all right. We were always a bit concerned about the side dishes because uh, Chanel's very creative for that type of thing. We feel confident that we'll take it. I certainly love the brisket. The smokiness, for me, is the ace of this whole serving. I love the potatoes. The potatoes are great. And I like the corn pudding. The rest of it, yeah. it's extremely ordinary. I think this is the first time we've had a challenge where it's not been a case of the person who messed up went home. Now we've got to sit down and analyse dish by dish. Wow. Well, that's the big one, big is one. to stay in the game. You um, send somebody home, huh? Yeah. The best team will win. Welcome both the Outlaws and the Salty Flames to this night's little session around the fire. Salty Flames, you are here because Pretty Gritty put you into the elimination challenge. Gentlemen, at the Pub Grape Challenge, produced a poor offering, which resulted in you being in the elimination challenge. So, Vita and Batis, tell us a little bit about your journey in the game. The beginning stages, it was a bit rough to find my feet. I think it took a bit of a learning curve how to, you know, work with the other teams as well. I think I was a bit intimidated by that. As opposed to Voter, I enjoyed it from the start, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to tell him, don't take everything so seriously, because things happen sometimes by design and sometimes by default and sometimes by negligence. You know, I never thought that this experience would change my mind, but South Africa truly is the most beautiful place I've ever been to. I have been so blessed to experience it, not only with Nick, but with everybody we have met along the way. And this experience has taught me so many things, not only about myself, but about our relationship. I didn't think we would last this long, not only in the competition, but, you know, as partners. <laughs> If anybody comes into this game thinking that it's not a game, that it's like real life events, it's not. It's a human sized board game. South Africa is your, your playing field, you know, it's, it's amazing. So uh, I, thank, I thank you guys for the opportunity to come and do this. What a great experience. All right, Outlaws, Salty Flames, obviously both of you are itching to know if you're still in the game, but as you know, it's not my thoughts that count actually did a good job. What you served to us at the end, you know, showed your growth and your journey throughout the competition. And we're proud to sit on the other end of the table and receive what you guys have offered today. So whatever happens, just be proud of yourself and know that we smile. Today, the two teams made it incredibly difficult for us. It's the first time we really had to go over side by side, by sauce, by brisket over and over again in our heads to make sure what we were deciding was the correct one. So thank you both for producing beautiful food today. Right, the moment you've been waiting for, but before I announce the sixth team to be eliminated from the game, there's a small silver lining. The team that leaves will receive 35,000 rands worth of vouchers from game to spend on anything that they like. Right, the sixth team to be eliminated from the game Outlaws, you're the sixth team to be eliminated. I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to leave our fire. It's been a hell of a journey. You learn each other's weak points and strong points in that matter. I mean, I think, I think our bond is even stronger. So, yeah, we're disappointed, but we don't feel hard done by. Never easy to say goodbye to a team that spent more than five weeks on the road with you. But I think the two of you are keenly here to win the game. Not only are you still in the game, Nick and Chanel, you also walk away with the Kamado Yan. Congratulations, it's finally yours. You've redeemed yourselves. Second time, lucky. My suggestion would be to make your way back to the Povey Cottage and let the teams know who is still in the game. 
<laughs> and you can pass on some good news to the rest of the teams. We're not moving, we're here for another leg, so you get to enjoy this part of the wild coast for a couple more days. But as you know, the next time you see me, game on. Game on. Sorry to see the outlaws leave, but... We live to fight another day. We ate it one step closer now. It's not top four and it's not going serious. If we perform like we performed in the last challenge. We might as well go. Might as well go up. Top four, holy One smokes. step away from the finals. Now, the game is on. It's the race to the final. What a culture. It makes you proud to be South African. Yeah. Good morning, my final four teams. Top three, here we come. We want to win this and get ourselves to the final. I want this so bad. Yeah, uh, not as pressure. Well, this is no playing game right now. I don't even think it's about the prizes anymore. I want to win. It's just about having the title. <gasps> 30 seconds, guys. My muscles. And that's it! Words! Stand it.